welcome to bsc statistics student now in this class i explain one more problem in t test for two means small sample test you see here the problem the data is collected about the salaries of two groups in a locality test the significance difference between the salaries of two groups so very simple question but you see this kind of problem this kind of table we have observed in the large samples as well in the large samples as well we we have calculated uh, we have conducted uh, test for two means this is also looking to be same so in the small samples also we are doing uh, uh, we are conducting a test for two means so you see what is the difference i will tell you group a and group b sample sizes 12 and 10 that is major uh, difference and average salary 1050 980 standard deviation 68 74 so therefore you observe here only the difference the major difference or only the difference you have to observe from the large sample and small sample is that the sample size the sample size is less than or equal to 30 then it is a small sample then you have to conduct a t-test so you see here 12 and 10 which are less than or equal to 30 which are less than 30 therefore it is a small sample and uh, if the sample sizes are greater than 30 then which are uh, large samples that is only the difference remaining all looking to be same means standard deviations everything x bar y bar s1 s2 which are same nothing no difference can be observed only the sample sizes remember only the sample sizes n1 and 2 less than or equal to 30 is a small sample therefore it here it is less than or equal to 30 therefore is a small sample n1 is equal to 12 n2 is 10 x bar is 1050 y bar is 980 and s1 sample standard deviation s1 for first sample 68 second sample s2 74 this is the data is given nothing no other value is given in the problem therefore you can easily observe that is the case where sigma is not known that is sigma 1 sigma 2 are not known in this case we have the uh, formula of t distribution we have uh, we have to apply t distribution so i'm going through the points the first point null hypothesis what is null hypothesis h naught h naught mu 1 is equal to mu 2 what is what we have to test that's, that's the significance difference between the salaries of two groups what we have to consider here there is no significant difference between the salaries of two groups that is we have to consider null hypothesis h naught coming to the alternative hypothesis h1 if you consider here there is no significance difference then you have to consider there is a significance difference that is uh, h1 mu1 not equal to mu2 which means it is a two tile test there is a significance difference between the salaries of two groups that is our statement in the alternative hypothesis h1 therefore go, i'm going to the third point the test statistic under h0 so we have to calculate test statistic under h0 what is the case here sigma 1 comma sigma 2 are not known that is the case are not known which means we have to apply t distribution t statistic that is t is equal to formula x bar minus y bar by s into square root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 this is the formula what is the formula of catalyst square root of n1 s1 square plus n2 s2 square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 this is what uh, capital s is some kind of standard deviation sample standard deviation that is not sample standard deviation uh, this is not sample standard deviation okay calculate square root of n1 12 s1 s1 68 square s1 square n plus n2 10 s2 square 74 square divided by n1 plus n2 12 plus 10 minus 2 is equal to some particular value we got 74.25 okay let, let us consider capital s is this value this is the value you calculate the value and uh, whichever the value you got you take the value and then you have to consider t t is equal to t statistic x bar minus y bar 1050 minus uh, 980 divided by s capital s 74.25 just now calculated into square root of 1 by n1 that is 1 by 12 plus 1 by n2 1 by 10 now you calculate this value it is something 2.20 
So the, therefore now the fourth point inference or comparison and conclusion. You see this is comparison and conclusion. Modulus of Z, not modulus of Z, T. This is modulus of T. The modulus of T is equal to 2.20 and uh, T alpha comma N1 plus N2 minus 2 degrees of freedom. Here the tabulated value of T is obtained at alpha. Alpha is not specified in the problem. Therefore, 5% level of significance. And N1 plus N2 minus 2. N1 is 12, N2 is 10 minus 2. That is t, uh, 20. T 5% comma 20. From the tables, uh, from the two tile test. Because alternative hypothesis is two tiles. Alternative hypothesis uh, refers, it is two tiles. Therefore, from two tile test, 5% level, 20 degrees of freedom, the T tabulated value is 2.086. So, this is what the tabulated value. Now, compare these two values. This is modulus of T is 2.20, T alpha, that is T 5% 20 is 2.086. Therefore, 2.2 is greater than 2.086. Therefore, modulus of T is greater than T alpha, n1 plus n2 minus 2, that is T 5% 20, which implies H0 is rejected. That is H1 is accepted. What is H1? There is a significance difference. That is, there is a significance difference between the salaries of two groups. This is what? Conclusion. As a comparison and conclusion. Hope you understand. Thank you.